This is the um, first tutorial I'm going to make um, on using uh, Photoshop to create this um, Jay-Z album cover. Now the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go through the, the basics of setting up the correct um, document. So you need to go to File, uh, New, and I'm just going to call this um, album cover for the time being. Oop. Album cover, and I'm going to change all of these to centimeters, and I have 12 by 12, and again I change the resolution to pixels per centimeters, and I'm going to have that about 60. Obviously, the higher number, the higher the number, the the higher the resolution, and the larger the um the, the higher quality the image size is going to be. So background colour, I'm going to have it as transparent, and I'm going to click OK. There it is. Now the first thing I'm actually going to um, show you is how to cut out a um, a person, okay, or cut out an object. So I have a number of um, different photos I can use for these tutorials. I'm just going to go to File Open, and there's Jay Z there. There he is. Um, make sure you've got a nice sharp fairly large image that you want to work with um, because you don't want to lose clarity by getting a really small image and making it really big. Now there are a number of ways I can get um, the background out of this. Now I'm quite lucky because the background is fairly light. You might find that you've got an image where it's got a lot going on in the background and it's same technique, slightly more time consuming. So there's a number of different ways I can do. I can choose a magic wand tool here, click on the background and it picks out you know, most of the backgrounds, um, and I can change the tolerance up here. The um, Another one here is if I right click on any of these options, and hold on, let me get rid of that selection. Right click on here, I've got the lasso tool, and the lasso tool is, you know, freehand tool, and you can cut things out like that. So right click, deselect. I could use the polygon lasso tool. So you click it once and you get a line and then you can trace round. Um, you can do it that way. Let me just get rid of that. I'm actually going to use the magnetic lasso tool and I really like this. And it's really useful for, for um, this image because there's not a lot going on in the background. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click it, keep my finger on the, the mouse button and I'm just going to trace round his head and you can see that it's actually sticking to the for the most part to the outline of Jay-Z's body. Now as we go down here, and you might find that it doesn't work quite as well. Um there we go, because um the colour starts going a bit white. So I'm just gonna trace around the bottom here. Whoop. Try and be as careful as possible. You wanna follow it the best you can. And you might want to take a little bit more time doing this, but for the purpose of this, there we go, round his ear, and back to the beginning. And there we go. Now I've done a pretty good job there. Now if you notice, round here, we've got a few issues where it's not really sticking to the outline. So what we're going to do is down here at the bottom, there is the quick mask mode. If I click it once, you can see that the selection is in full colour and the background is in red and you can see that some of the red is covering him up and we don't we want to get rid of that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the paintbrush up here and I'm going to change this to yeah quite a hard hard brush there and I can whoop now what happens here is because I've got the red show the black showing here if I reverse round and get the white I can then trace, put the basically and just colour it in and be quite accurate. If I just press um, Command on Apple, I think it's Control and Windows, just zoom in slightly and pick up the rest of this. Now you're going to have to take a little bit longer than me. A uh, bit of a T-shirt here. 
a uh, bit of his forearm there. So if you do find that you've made a few mistakes and you can click the button down here and then you can remove some of that but we don't want that. Right, I think I'm pretty happy with that for the time being. There we go. So if I click the um, this button again, there we go. That is that is much better. Just before I do that, I'm just going to quickly come back up here to magnetic lasso tool and go to refine edges at the top. And I'm just going to, you can't tell the difference here that well because of the white background, but I'm just going to smooth out the edge. Make it a little bit smooth. You can play with some of these if you want, like feather and contrast. I'm just going to choose a smooth tool. Click OK. And there I am. All I'm going to do I need to select is I'm going to click on Jay-Z and drag him. Now we're talking. Now I can zoom out. If I press uh, Command on Mac or Control, I believe, on PC and T, I can then resize. That's a transform tool. Keep your finger on Shift as you're dragging this down. That will constrain the proportions. A little bit smaller. Click on this. I want to apply the trans transition. Let me move that around. And there it is. Let's make them a little bit bigger. Don't forget, keep your finger on shift. Click, apply, and there we go. So now cut them out and I've put it on our album cover. The next tutorial is that we're going to combine a number of different images together to make something that looks a little bit more professional.